What's up, you wonderful people? My name is Saint Zesty, and welcome back to Lisa the Painful. Last episode, we took a boat to the island where Buddy was on. We came across both her along with Brad's old father, Marty. We killed Marty, and in that process, disturbed Buddy greatly. She no longer likes us. Well, she probably already didn't like us, but she dislikes us even more. She abandoned us on the island, took our boat, so we had to take the body of the man who drove us, Tardy, as a boat. And now we are on what looks to be like Rando's Island. And so we are just making our way across the island, trying to find Buddy again. And we'll see where this leads us. Oh, it got very quiet. Oh, there she is again. End of the line, friend. She belongs to Rando now. <laughs> My throat hurts so bad from doing all the voices. Oh, there's a whole army there. Hey, Brad. Not to burst your bubble here, but... I it's been many even for you to take on. Hey! What happened to her face? It's ruined! The bald guy did it. I, no. No, I didn't. Buddy. We need to run. Now. Uh, buddy! She, she ran through them! Stop! Oh, it's my guys. Hey, guys. You came. Ah, hell. I guess this is it, eh? One last drink for the working man. Your death won't be for nothing. I'll miss you. It was nice working with you, pal. But justice needs to be served. They've got... Character specific dialogue. That's actually really cool. No. You can't have her. All of you people are filling her head with nonsense, blinding her. You don't understand. I have to save her. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to fight my own teammates? No, no, don't. I will actually cry. Don't make me do this to, don't make me do this to Harvey. No, he's stunned. He's stunned. Jeez, okay. Fire blast, I'm sorry, Harvey. You're actually the most dangerous out of these guys. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to end you first. Jeez. Birdie Hall doesn't want to do this. No, I don't want to either. But Wyatt doesn't want to do this. Come on, come on. Come on. Don't, don't be doing this. <laughs> Burning head slide. Jeez. I, I. This game hurts. RV Alabaster's out. This. These are my guys. This was gonna be my team going in. I was actually really excited to use them. Sorry, Harvey. Man. All right, Birdie. Time for you to go now. Just gonna, just gonna keep fire blasting you until. Yep. Bo. Just um. Time for you to go too. The song that plays is so sad too. Damn. Bo doesn't want to do this. And this is just, this game is just a whole lot of people doing things that they don't want to do. All right. All right, Bo. So, let's just get this over with. Okay. No XP. Oh, okay. Damn. That was my team, and they we just... I was trying to keep them alive, and we ended up killing them anyway. 
Rando. Fa. Fa. F face. Sir, you don't have to speak. D don't worry, little girl. A f f face is nothing. The inside, it's, it's what matters. I, 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 the, know you were strong. Rando. He spoke, he spoke, he spoke, he spoke. That's the first time we ever heard him. His voice sounds so weak. I can't believe it. Wait, what about the bald guy? We haven't forgotten. I will... <laughs> I will take on all of you. If that's what it takes. Face it. You can't win. Just give up now and walk away with your life. You don't need to die today. No. Hmm? You don't understand. I've been dead for 35 years. Today is the day I live. <laughs> what? All right, Brad, not gonna lie. Is that logic isn't, isn't very sound. It, it sounds cool and all, but yeah, it's not, that's not how that works. Brad. <laughs> Jeez. All right, he's bleeding, but no damage. Thank Brad, he's so resistant to all of all of the attacks all of a sudden. Damn. Oh, we made everyone fall, except for those two. Everyone else is trying to get up. Dang, Brad is kind of popping off right now. Nice. Oh, we can take the rest of them out really quickly. I bet we can do it with a burning head slide. Nice. Good stuff, Brad. Birdman's down. Now it's just pirate guy. Oh, he doesn't do any damage. Not to Brad. Brad's all fired up. <laughs> it said Bruno Lee. This guy's stronger than I thought. He can't possibly take down all of us. Kill him! Oh, I can take down all of you if that's what it takes. Mm. That guy's your only hope. Call Afro Man. Ah, uh, but he fell too. Burning head slide. Yeah, let's just keep doing this. Yeah, that's taking them out. They're all trying to get up. Nice, Brad. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sure, you want to still fight me. I mean, if you want to, I won't stop you, but... Doesn't seem like a very good decision at the moment. Skull guy? You sure? Ah. He's down. What the hell? He's not human! How is she? He's still alive. Even more of you guys. I'm impressed, I have to say. Oh, they're all nervous. You know, if you guys actually attacked me, maybe you could take me out. But you guys are you guys are very timid, timid, <laughs> timid right now. Brad's just wrecking right now. Just, just give him the girl. Yeah, let's go. He's a fucking monster. Get away, you freak. No, I'm still gonna take you guys. You can scream. All right. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was such a weird scream. This part of the game is so sad. This is like actually kind of hard, not because it's like a, a difficult section. It's just, it's just sad. As much as, I was going to say I want to support Brad, but I really don't. He has to let Buddy do what he wants, what she wants. I know in this situation that means um, doing the do with a bunch of dudes and repopulating the earth, but if that's what she wants, like, and it is for the greater good of humanity, I don't think, I don't think it's right for Brad to just come in and she, he's probably just gonna lock her in a basement again. 
it's not like he's uh it's not like he's a good father who's gonna like hang out with her or nurture her he's just gonna he's probably just gonna stick her in a house and maybe just forget about her i've really enjoyed brad as a protagonist up until this point but now now the means don't justify the ends by far oh jeez Brad, you've got a got a arrow or two in you. <laughs> but buddy, st stay back. Don't touch her. But Master Armstrong, p please. We we don't need to f f fight. She is the future. She's just a kid. Oh, shit, he's buff. He's real buff. Take a rando ration. Okay, he's not too bad. Not too bad. Um, let's try to stun him. Okay, let's, uh, some joy. Maybe. Let's make this go fast. All right, he's joyed. Woo! And we're bleeding now. Drop kick. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Pretty sick drop kick, Brad. You know what? For that drop kick, I forgive you for everything. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Oh, he resisted the fire though. Hmm. Charging headbutt. Can we perhaps stun him? Nope. Burning head slide. Can we trip him? No, he is just a wall. Oh, he's doing quite a bit of damage. <laughs> just keep drop kicking him. Oh, he's not joyed anymore. That went so fast. All right, another one. Another one, Brad. You good? We got joy left. We got plenty of joy left. Oh, he's stunned. Yeah, fire blast. Yeah, he's resistant to that, but it still does the most damage, I think. Yeah. Okay, that, that that still does like the most damage. All right. Oh. Oh. This is some like Darth Vader shit. We took off his mask and yikes. No, we don't we don't need to do that to him anymore. Brad. Hmm. That's um Oh, we you really are the best. Even in defeat, he still, still manages to compliment us. Even when trying to hurt, yeah, when we're just trying to hurt humanity for our own, for our own uh, emotional stake. Let's just keep going. Th thank you for everything. This game breaks my heart so much. Damn. See, Brad, before you know it, there's not going to be anyone left to repopulate the Earth but you and Buddy, and that's just that's just a different level of messed up. That's just a whole new level of... We didn't need that. Buddy. It's over. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you trying now? Why weren't you there when I needed you? You've taken everything away from me. I know. I finally had a chance at life and you take it away. Stop. Why are you trying to hurt me so much? You make me sick. I hate you. Stop. I know you hate me. I know. Why, Brad? Why did you do this to me? I had a chance to choose something for myself. No, buddy, you didn't. For good or for evil, it didn't matter. Those men wanted to use you. 
people are always going to try to use you and hurt you. Choose your life for you. Don't preach to me. Please. It's too late for that. You can't just be a father all of a sudden. I just... For once, I wanted to do something good. And see, in a lot of ways, Brad is using her for... As a sort of emotional crutch. He, he didn't have a good father, so... He took her in and tried to be his own definition of a good father. You know, he, he wanted to have that sort of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Reassurance that he can be better than his dad, than the father he had before he became a father himself and kind of used Buddy as that emotional crutch. Did that make any sense? I hope that made sense. I'm the one that was supposed to protect you. I can't let anyone hurt you. Brad. You've hurt me the most. Buddy. Can you do something for me? That's strange. Please. What? Hold me. Why? I want to know what it's like. I'm begging you. This man's never gotten a hug. The world would be a better place if everyone just hugged each other. <laughs> That's the lesson here. Hugs rule the world. Hug Brad. Give him a hug. Buddy? Yes? Did I do the right thing? Eh. Not really. That's the end? Whoa. Ambiguous em endings like that are always really cool. Taster, it's your fault. Huh. Um, <laughs> sorry, that was just a weird thing that popped up. Ambiguous endings like that, um, I'm trying to think of games that... Wake up, buddy, buddy, buddy. What? Oh, wait, it's still going. Oh, we're a joy up monster ourselves. Oh, that's not the end. Okay, I, I had a whole point there, but um, hold that thought. Oh, we're going. Hey, Brad. Um, we don't need to go find Buddy. We can we can let her we can let her go now. Hmm. That is look at that dinky little leg scooching that big old body. Oh, a single flower. That's charming. <laughs> can we eat it? Om nom nom nom. No. All right. <laughs> Oh, hey, Brad, we don't need to... Lisa. Brad, we don't need to... We don't need to be doing this now. That was the end. I don't know how I feel about that. I forget what point I was trying to make earlier. Oh yeah, ambiguous endings. I, I like that those sort of ambiguous endings where, you know, you're kind of left to try to figure out what happens after. Now, we had that post credit scene that explained, you know, explained a little more of what happened after. I know that there's a game after this, Lisa the Joyful, where you play as Buddy. So obviously Buddy doesn't die in that scene. Yeah, it's just like games like that where, you know, it makes you think a lot. The game that comes to mind now is The Last of Us, where, you know, we have a protagonist 
who makes a lot of very questionable decisions for for what they view as the right thing to do. In The Last of Us, that was Joel saving Ellie, even though she had the option to give up her life to save humanity and rid the world of the zombie infection that brought the world to an end. She had that choice, and she was willing to do that. Um, but Joel took that away from her. In this game, this game kind of follows a similar theme where, in this case, um, Buddy has the choice to give up her body to, you know, repopulate the Earth. As the last girl, she has the ability to bring more people into this world and hopefully, uh, hopefully bring it back to a stable civilization and brad though he wants to protect her and give her a good life he takes that option away from her and it's completely selfish but in a way is charming in a way in a very str strange messed up way it's not right but there's there has to be a certain amount of love involved in that that's just my thoughts on the game that was a ton of fun it wasn't the hardest RPG I've ever played. It was actually really easy. I'm sure pain mode would have been very difficult to get through. Really, that's a game you play for the story and for the shenanigans that they pull throughout it. I love the contrasting sadness and um, and hilarity that goes on throughout the game. But So yeah, this was a great game. I highly recommend it to anyone who is interested in playing it. I know I just said it's mostly for the story. So if you've watched most of this playthrough, you've gotten most of it. But, you know, maybe you want, you want to go back and experience it for yourself. But with that said, that is the end of Lisa the Painful. I hope you enjoyed this video and this entire series, really. And if you did, smash that like button and be sure to subscribe to keep up with all the new content. I hope you have an amazing day. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.